What's up guys? Today again we want to look at how to use briefing.com to find trades to use during your swing trading, day trading and even sometimes long term trading depending on how the charts are looking like. We're going to determine how to find trades using briefing.com. Okay, so first thing is to go on the website, uh, type in in your search box brief, briefing.com. Uh, how we use it is we uh, take advantage of the upgrades and downgrades ideas that are given to us by this website. So we go to calendars uh, from the bugger here, uh, scroll down to calendars and you find upgrades and downgrades. Um, so the way this thing works is whenever the suggestions are for an upgrade, you do the opposite because usually uh, from what I have seen over, you know, trying to use it is that when they are asking for upgrades, it's usually driving price to a supply zone. And what you do is rather do the opposite, which is short that particular stock. And when it's for the downgrades, as in this case, you do wait for price at a demand zone because price is literally moving downwards and it is going into a demand zone and you want to be prepared to do a buy at that point this is all supposed to be supported by other uh, odds enhancers things that give you more confidence in the price point that you're trying to buy from things like the trend uh the you know the news behind a particular stock these are not very uh, supposed to be like cut and dry, but you're supposed to use them to give you more confidence in the position you want to tread. So if we look at the upgrades, these are at least now four uh, companies that are being shown right now. They keep changing during the day, but I like to check it before the market opens. And then I am prepared for when the market opens. I try to look at it, even looking uh, at the pre-market, what it's doing, because usually price is that quick. By the time the market opens, it's just hitting the zone and going right out. These are short and sweet opportunities you can use to take advantage of the market and you're out by literally sometimes 11, but they sometimes take a day or two to close depending on what time frame you're using okay so quickly we will take down um the upgrades here are showing there is one by keith bruet and these because they're just a few we'll take all of them bbdc uh sometimes i'm just picky i choose a certain brokerage farms that are very familiar to me and you know have a bigger a bigger customer base those that are strong because you don't want sometimes there's so many suggestions here you don't want to take everything but i will take all of them because they're just four here and then when we go to the side of downtrends downgrades we have uh buckley's buckley's is good this is a good brokerage farm uh it is suggesting or a m a g we have goldman's Goldman, I think this is Goldman Sachs, this BHP, um, Northland Capital, I'll skip that, there is Stifo, I don't know that, Oppenheimer Group is good, ICE, it is suggesting ICE, Intercontinental Exchange, uh, the Steady Securities, it is suggesting LBRDA, uh, the City Group, I'm picking us uh, a few that are familiar to me right now. Everybody, you can always choose whatever you want. There's Morgan Stanley, and it's suggesting UBX, uh, same thing as Citigroup, and then there's VG by Morgan Stanley, VG. Okay, uh, there are other suggestions by like coverage initiated. Initiated. I don't know what that is. Resumed. Because I'm a trend trader, I would love to just choose those that are suggesting either a shorting opportunity or a buying opportunity. So I'll quickly jot down those and then go to the charts and see how they're looking like. Uh, using a daily chart and then I'll be fluctuating between daily to see my trends if it is supported. And then I'll go to the four hour and see if those same 
um, support levels are existing on the four hour and then continue on to the supply, sorry, to the one hour and see what they're doing. I also want to pay attention to the price of the stock usually. I like those that are at least $20 and above because prices that are a bit lower than that don't, you know, haven't worked really well for me because sometimes they're choppy and they don't have a particular movement that they're going. Um, okay, so we see this one is trying to make uh, a breakout from this point. Uh, it's really, uh, it's touched it a couple of times, but it's not yet out, out of it. So uh, we'll just pay attention to it because this is an upgrade. We want to see if it will come to this supply zone as it suggested so i put um an alert here but the trend is not very clear for us to be able to say that this is a downtrend um so this i will skip on it this is the time when you're trying to qualify all your trades all your you know the the, the stocks you're trying to look at you qualify them before you take them this is a clear uptrend so the suggestion of you shorting it is not going to work at this point, even though that's what is being advised when it comes to um, briefing.com. Um, so I wouldn't go up against the trend. So I'll skip on that too. There's Curly, uh, C U R O Calf. I wonder what this company is all about this is also in an uptrend and the prices are still like nine dollars the price is a bit low and the price action is just you know there's not much movement usually but we'll pay attention to that and then give it time sometimes i'll put in an alert to see what's up with that in the near future uh, price is right here, but it's in an uptrend, so I'll just skip on that and go to the next. There's Oxy. What we are trying to see is if we can find a downtrending market in all of these. This is in a clear downtrend, if you can see. And if prices are at 13.91, but price is clearly turning downwards. I'm going to find some place where to put an alert to see if price will come back to that zone and maybe we'll take advantage of the shorting opportunity at that point. Uh, this looks good, but these that are having price below 15, sorry, below $20, I trade them really carefully and I don't overstay in them because really there's not much movement uh, so that's that's one so in the shorting opportunity we only got oxy but this that's, that doesn't mean I'm gonna take that I'll still go and look at those that are suggesting the other side which is the buying opportunities and see which one gives me the best odds enhances the best odds at winning this and then I'll go with that all right so we see there's this one there's a clear uptrend it reached in this supply zone and bounced right out which was pretty cool love to see this um, let's see let's see if there's something that will come back down here I'll put in an alert here um, see if something will come back down at this price point I like this price uh, down there it's not very fresh uh, price already tested this area it shot out and then came wicked right back in but we will not outrule it uh, let's see these I'll take on a confirmation uh, style after confirming that price is really going in my direction then I'll take such a trend but without that I might just skip on it so this is like 50 50 uh, we'll go and see the other. There's BHP. BHP is in a clear uptrend. Uh, there's a gap, there's a gap down here. I love to take advantage of of gaps because price will definitely come to fill up this gap and 
will be waiting here so this is pretty good uh, this will get at least like a 70 percent chance of being taken and then we'll go to the next one which is ICE uh, oh nice I love this um, there's a clear 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 move up, move to the upside and and price has been trending upwards it broke this trend at this price point which was what 98 point is it 98.08 and then we want to see if price will come back down let me see at the four hour chart same thing the zone is being supported at that level this is the point when i try to adjust my entry points uh entry would be at a hundred and i'll be risking two dollars because the stop loss will be some somewhere here at 98 point 98.37 and then when price comes back i'll be buying and then take advantage on the move upwards if i'm risking two dollars i would try to make at least four dollars to to the upside or six so it is a three or two to one risk to reward ratio i like to go to the next one which is lbr so ice is really good i love ice i'm definitely going to look at that later on uh, these are not trading suggestions because i'm not a financial advisor but something that i post just to document my journey but also to see if someone out there can take pick a leaf from it and take advantage of it um this is taking so long i hate it when the platform does this to me i'll go to another one and see if it works with me um okay we want to see if there's an uptrend uh there's there's an uptrend trying to form out here it's not yet there but look at this this is something that i'm talking about this is in a perfect zone right now the stock is in a perfect zone right now and if price can go above it uh there's an opportunity for us to make some money on the upside although the profit zone is not really that big because it's like 47 dollars to up to 53 uh not so bad not so bad there's a difference of what like three uh five dollars and something cents i could just take advantage of this because it's in a good zone let me see what it's doing on a one hour on our chart something the zone is quite good the one prior to it where price came into uh, was strong uh, let me see what it is doing in the after the pre-market what's going on in the pre-market I like to see okay see this if you go to the pre-market you will see what's happening so you see right now price went through this zone much as it looks good price went through it already so you want to check sometimes when it is like showing like it's ready for you to take it go to the down go down to the pre-market and see what's happening so price is already down here and if we waited to see when price would open up it's gonna open somewhere at or below this price point which is 40 but what where it closed from yesterday was around 45 sorry 45 something but it is right now trading below 40 uh, 98 so pay attention to that so i'll be white watching this to see what goes on uh, uh, on the daily it is showing that price is sitting in this zone so we want to pay attention to that uh, clearly that was a stronger zone than the one above it so this is when i get a chance to be able to uh, adjust and also to make them them zones that i'm trying to choose look better if you know what i mean i'm trying to have these zones work for me and not the other way around okay so there is also ubx i want to wrap this up uh this is just ideas uh whoop. look at that price got just got down from ten dollars to freaking four dollars what just happened here i really don't know. that's why i don't like these companies that have price points that are really below 
twenty dollars because sometimes they do crazy shit. Look at how price just jump jumped right down here. Okay, so I'll not look at that right now. I will go to UG. Oh, Uganda. No, this is VG. I was, I was wondering, are they trading my company, my country too? Uh, VG. Uh, my handwriting is kind of wobbly even for me. VG is almost almost there in that zone it's in an uptrend so remember when we say downgrades are driving price to a zone to a demand zone this is clearly shown right here it is going right there and we want to see if price will work out pretty well i'll take it to the for our chat to see what's happening it's still seated in that zone where we're trying to find price uh, a good price to buy from so you pay attention to that we we'll look at it and see how it works out during the day or even at market open uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow I want to try to be looking at how much I'm trying to document these trades that are coming from briefing.com to see how much they'll be able to uh, help somebody if they can just stick to this plan and then see if it can give you enough uh, sufficient profits day after day. All right. Thank you so much.